So let me straight the camera up a little bit there. So you're, you're creating content to build your network marketing business and um, you find it difficult to, to create engaging ideas, right? You may find yourself not making content at all, being inconsistent because you can't think of anything interesting to create content about, or you may be putting content out there and you're like, man, this is nowhere near good enough. I wish I could improve the engagement with what I'm doing. So let me give you some quick ways that you can solve that so you never run out of engaging content to create ever again. And by content, I mean like YouTube videos, social media posts, Facebook Lives, Facebook group posts, you name it, you know, you're putting it out there. Well, you know, I want to give you some great ideas for that. So the first thing that you can do is ask your existing audience. This is a great quick way, quick win to give them what they want. Hey, what's your number one question centered around improving your network marketing business? Would be my question. You can set up a Google survey, which is free to do. Answer the question. Anybody that answers the question, if you want to leave me your email, I'll give you this free training. So now we ethically incentivize your audience to answer the survey and we can get some really great topics of conversation for your content on there. You know, there's going to be some standout ones, but it's going to be a whole bunch of ideas for you there. And you now feel like, oh, this is great. This is exactly what they're looking for. It's also a great way of you creating, if you create content for programs or courses or paid stuff, you can now see the kind of modules that people would like covering. That's idea number one. Number two, who is successfully serving your exact audience? So for me, I serve the existing network marketing community. So I can go out there and I can search on social media and Google who are other people who would be my competitors, so to speak, who are creating similar content for the existing network marketing community. I can go look at their content. I can go see where their highest levels of engagement were. So on here on YouTube, for example, I can go look at someone's channel on YouTube who's creating content for network marketers. I can go to their videos and I can sort by most popular. Now I can see the topics that other network marketers are wanting to engage with the most. You can do that with two or three people. You could get 20, 30, 40, 50 ideas before the end of today by doing that on someone's YouTube channel alone. Repeat it on Facebook, repeat it on Instagram, repeat it on whatever channel you like. Bunch of great ideas. Idea number three, you can go to forums and Facebook groups. Join Facebook groups where your existing audience, the people you're creating content for, they're hanging out. So if I'm creating content for personal trainers that I want to get in my health and wellness business, I'm going to go join some personal trainer groups. I'm going to go sign up for some free personal trainer forums. When you're in those places, in there, I was going to say there and those, I got them combined. When you're in those places, you can see where the most popular content is. What forum topic is getting the most engagement? What Facebook group post is getting the most comments, is getting the most people asking about it? And you can also look in those groups and forums and see what people are asking the most. Both of those ways give you some great ideas for content. Also, you can look at your own content. Not a lot of people do this. It's a big trick that a lot of people miss. Where are the most likes? Where are the most comments? Where are the most views? We often tend as content creators to put the content out there and go, oh, that's the job done. Well, take a look back at your own channel, at your own content. Where was the highest engagement? That will give you some idea of what your audience is actually wanting more of so you can give them what they want. So that's four ideas there where you can create a whole bunch of content and never run out of ideas. As a fifth way, if you're building the exact type of business that you're creating content around. So for example, when I was building a network marketing team and I was promoting to existing network marketers, you know, I could take the very action and do experiments that would allow me to document those experiments and feed that back to my audience. So if you're, let's say, for example, let's say you are losing some weight and you're wanting to sell a health and wellness product that helps people lose weight, Document your process. Learn the ins and outs of the product. Why is it a better product than other products? What was your experience with it? What's the next step once you've lost the initial one pound, five pound, 10 pounds? How did you introduce exercise effectively? How did you maintain your consistency? So you can use your own documenting your own experiences and your own experiments and feed that back to your audience. It's a great way of creating content and you can build rapport. And you can also, I was gonna give you one more. Um, what's the other one I was gonna give you? You can document what you were doing, taking the correct action, um, I think that may have been it, actually. I may, I may remember it in a minute. I'm getting old. I'm 40 next year. But those are five ways that you can create an unlimited supply of content uh, for your audience. Oh, that was it. I did have one. Review stuff. So, for example, um, 
I'm, you know, I've got an idea. I'm not going to share it with you yet, actually. But I, I've got an idea, and, and let me give you some some work to example. Let's stick with the health and wellness one. If I'm creating this content to help people lose weight, I may review other health and wellness products. If it's a great product, let's say Bowflex, I'm sure they have some kind of affiliate offer. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. You could become an affiliate for a company and not promote it as a network marketing business, but you could review that product if it's good and you use it, you could review it and then you could sell it through an affiliate link. You may just review it and if it's terrible, say, you know what I prefer, I prefer my company, I prefer my products, right? Something like that. So reviews of product, reviews of services, documenting your own. I give you a whole bunch of stuff there that you could write down. You'll never run out of content if you're doing all of those five or six things. Like I haven't for years. I've got thousands of pieces of content out there and I do the exact same things that I just mentioned to you there. So I always give you what's working in the field. If you'd like some more great ideas from me, how you can build a network marketing business, starting from scratch, I came from zero, I sponsored over 700 people. Um, I can teach you my overview of, of how I did that in a free web class happening this week. You can go to www. I always do two Ws. Uh, authoritynetworker.com forward slash YouTube. Uh, you can register a free web class there. It'll still be free now if you go to that link. Um, and I'll see you there. I'll give you an overview of my approach, give you some clarity on what you should be focusing on, and just generally help you to build better results in the company that you're in, hopefully. I'll give you my very best on that web class. As always, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. I'll catch you on the next one if you're a subscriber. Have a fantastic day, and bye for now.